Hi, I'm Mike Valente for Auto Show Web TV. We are standing here at the Auto Exotica exhibit next to the Maserati MC12 Corsa. Today we're going to be talking to the folks from FAF and Fisker of Toronto, as well as showing you all the classic vehicles from Exotica Italia right here at Auto Exotica. All right, we're here at the Auto Exotica section here at the 2013 Canadian International Auto Show with Horst Blulau. These from sales from McLaren. We got the 2013 McLaren 12C Spider behind us. This thing can go from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 3.1 seconds. It took me longer just to say that. Tell us more about this beautiful, beautiful car. Well, basically, the uh, the 12C Spider uh, has all the same uh, characters as the coupe does. The uh, chassis is all carbon fiber, which is unique to uh, McLaren and uh, for its... Uh, what we really uh, boast about, I guess, because it's really the first uh, full-fledged uh, street car that's a full production car that uses a carbon fiber chassis. Uh, there are other cars out there that had done that, but they're not, you know, they're not a full production car. Um, but uh, the car here is, has been fantastic. The coupe's been fantastic, and Spider sales have been going great so far. And what about the retractable hardtop? Tell us about the folding roof system. So the folding roof system, uh, it's about 17 seconds to open and close. It's, uh, it's lightweight. Uh, the interesting thing about our Spider is uh, it is the lightest Spider in the category and, and typically uh, weight increases uh, by 150 or so pounds. Our car only increased in weight by 40 kilos, so uh, roughly 90 pounds. Um, and uh, we can open and close our roof while we're driving up to about 40 kilometers an hour. Why do you think this car is so special when we look at all the exotics here at Auto Exotica? Well, they're all special, really, when you, when you think about it. I mean, there's a lot of great cars out there, but uh, uh, for McLaren, uh, as I mentioned, uh, the key point for us is that carbon fiber tub. The, uh, the, the chassis is very rigid, and there's no loss of that uh, with the Spider, uh, where some cars you lose the, uh, the strength and the rigidity of the car. And with the carbon fiber tub, this, uh, this helps our, our car stay very solid, and there's, there's virtually zero body flex in the car in the Spider. Do you know how many of these exist right now in the world? Uh, worldwide right now, I, I, I'd be guessing on how many have been delivered because uh, they did start uh, delivering them uh, overseas um, in the fall and uh, late, uh, late fall, early winter through U.S. And, and we've delivered two so far where uh, over the next few months when the weather gets a little nicer, we've got a bunch of cars incoming. So what we hope to deliver roughly uh, 30 spiders this year. Great. Thank you so much. Marina Rodriguez, product specialist for Fisker of Toronto. M Marina, how are you? I'm doing well, Michael. Thank you for asking. So here today we have the Eco Sport trim level with the additional back camera navigation. It also comes with an extra two speakers, your subwoofer, and leather interior options. In this specific model, we've upgraded to a tritone leather. So this is an exotic car, quite obviously, but what makes it so sustainable? Well, the great thing about this vehicle is that even though it has that guzzling, gas, beautiful, exotic look to it, it's actually a very economically friendly vehicle. So what you get out of this car is 80 kilometers initially for city driving, which most people will never surpass over 35, 50 kilometers daily. Now, if you were to go over this, not to worry, because you always have that 36 liter gas tank that gives you an extended range of an additional 403 kilometers. So you still get roughly about 40 miles per gallon, and that's not even including the contribution that you will get back from the regenerative braking and also the solar panel that does contribute a little bit more towards that larger lithium-ion battery, helping towards that extended range as well. So why did Fisker decide to join the plug-in hybrid type of world? So one day, when Henrik Fisker saw Leonardo DiCaprio pulling out of a Prius, he thought to himself, I've designed the BMW Z8, the Aston Martin Vantage V8. There's got to be something that we can come up with that you can still feel good about driving in the sense where you're still driving something that's economically friendly and you're still being conscious in that way but at the same time you didn't lose anything you still get that luxury and design and beauty so that's why he actually calls it the karma is because it quite literally is your karma into being that person 
Okay, so I'm looking at the back end of this car here. What is the difference between this vehicle? Because normally there would be exhaust pipes here, right? Yes, so what we actually have here is just something to create that illusion of having exhaust pipes in the back to complete that look. But where they actually are located is in the front lower ends of the vehicle. The reason why they can actually put it there is the fact that even when this is running off of the gas engine, it actually releases less emissions than a Prius. It's up to emissions testing for 2025 actually, which is also probably why they have such a high rebate within Canada. They offer 8,500 back in government rebate after your purchase with this vehicle. Great. Thank you for joining us today at Auto Exotica. I'm standing in front of the Ferrari 333 SP, and you can come check out the entire Auto Exotica exhibit at the Canadian International Auto Show between February 15th and the 24th at the Metro Toronto Convention Centre North and South Buildings. Before the show, log online to autoshow.ca. Save 10% off your tickets by joining the e-ticket fast lane. I'm Mike Valente. We'll see you next time.